Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of blighted ovum. A 35 years old married female patient came with amenorrhea for 3 months. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus showing an irregular gestational sac within the uterus. There is no visualized embryo or yolk sac. As the patient has no history of parvaginal bleeding, this sac seeks attention about the blighted ovum. Now before diagnosing it as blighted ovum, we need to do some measurement. Here we have taken the mean sac diameter. The mean sac diameter was 42 mm, suggesting 9 weeks 2 days pregnancy. In a normal 9 weeks 2 days pregnancy, you will even see the movement of embryo and we can't see any embryo here. So this is actually a case of blighted ovum. This is the picture of the gestational sac without any internal embryo. So in summary, a well-defined irregular 10 week sized gestational sac is noted within a gravid uterus without any embryo or yolk sac. So the diagnosis is an embryonic pregnancy or blighted ovum. Now the take home message. Usually in trans abdominal ultrasound, if you don't see any embryo after more than 25 mm gestational sac diameter or mean sac diameter, then it will be counted as a blighted ovum. In confusing cases, it's better to rescan after a week to avoid overdiagnosis. If you work with a very poor quality machine, then it is highly recommended to wait up to 30 mm to say it as a blighted ovum. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.